Happy Birthday America! In celebration of this momentous occasion, we aim to play something that feels a bit more like home. And nothing feels more like home than the Halls of Torment. My favorite style of roguelike, of surviving against endless waves, new builds, abilities, skills, and more. So let's take a look at my new obsession. Let's go! Welcome to what is my new summer obsession because Steam just had a new summer sale. That's right, it is the Halls of Torment. But today on the 4th of July, I want to feel like I'm at home again. I want to feel like I'm a kid again. Back when I was a wee young lass. I used to play Diablo 1 and Diablo 2, honestly, to the bare bone. I've probably played it a thousand different ways that there is no other ways to play it anymore. The Halls of Torment really fits that niche for me. Not only do I really love roguelikes because you always feel like you're kind of progressing at something, but also it gives you that very extremely Diablo 1, Diablo 2-esque kind of vibe to it. So choose a hero, and I think we only have one available to us to start with. We have the base health, base defense, base block, but I don't know what any of these numbers really mean yet, but I'm sure that we'll find out over time. But it says that our ability, the <laughs> Zweihander, 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 is it German? Is, is, so, so is that Heihander. <laughs> I don't know, no, no. All right, I gave my honest attempt, and now I feel the honest embarrassment. Embarrassment. So let's just get started right away. Choose a hero. Campfire hurt me. What have I got? The campfire does not hurt you. The campfire does not hurt you. Okay, I just, I, I'm sorry. I just had to test it. Oh God. Okay, we're going right into it immediately. <laughs> I, I, I thought I was gonna have to click on the door or maybe like click on something, but nope, you just walk right into it and you're ready to go. All right, so we have our attack. We have our movement as base. Yeah, okay, that's how every game works. Toggle auto attack. So this thing would just kind of lay out for ability for us perfect. And it said like auto aim as well. Oh, uh, now that just kind of seems cheaty. Do you want to auto aim at the closest one? No, I'd go ahead and just rather go ahead and just target myself. I want to go ahead and make sure I get the right shot every single time, not what auto aim is doing. Because I don't always want to hit the closest target. Sometimes I want to cluster this big group right over here. Ooh, okay. So our very first upgrade. Base health, pickup range, attack speed, base block. Okay. This is going to be our chance to kind of read some stuff here. So parry one, base block strength. Checks before defense. If the block of value equals the unreduced damage received from an attack, the chance to block it is 50%. So basically, if the number of your base block strength is, is like equal to or higher than the amount of damage received, it automatically goes to a 50% chance to just block it. That seems pretty good. I mean, that seems pretty good right off the bat, but 6% attack speed is going to be really beneficial to us. So I say let's go ahead and do attack speed because right now it seems like our attack speed is really low. I mean, if the base block chance is going to go ahead and just kind of perceive that on the chance that we're going to get hit. But you forget that um you're talking to an expert here. I'm an absolute god in roguelikes, okay? I mean... Uh, this my big brain intellect is never going to be able to let me get hit more than probably a few 20, 30, 50. Honestly, let's go ahead and just get 10% more damage. But now where are our stats to even take a look here? So I'm pressing a few buttons here on my keyboard. Nothing really popping up. And okay, we have our on. Oh, here we go. Escape button brings up our stats. That is beautiful. So max health, health regeneration. So we do regenerate one health per second. Not bad. 20%. I don't know if these percentages, like when we get an upgrade for a percentage, is it going to stack? If I get like a 10% crit chance, is this going to make it like 30% crit chance? Or is it going to give me like a 10% of that 20% going to make it actually like 22%? Are you guys following me? Yeah, you following me? Okay, put it down in the comments down below. Put your votes in the comments. <laughs> put it in the comments right now. Do it right now. <laughs> Vote right now. Do you think it's going to, if I get more crit chance or if we get more percentages, is it going to add on top of the percentage? Or is it gonna, or is it gonna multiply that percentage by like the percentage already on? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Am I just, am I just really bad at explaining things? I think I might just be really bad at explaining things. I mean, well, this is why you subscribe, right? Because honestly, I think the one thing that I probably do best more than anybody is to just, just the babble on, just keep on talking about absolutely nonsense. And that's honestly a big feat they have in terms of YouTubers. You can just keep on ranting about everything. But what more pickup range, base defense, six percent area? Ah, crit bonus. I know that's crit bonus. I don't know what a crit bonus is. I don't know what that was. I think that's at 200%, I think it said. So if we go ahead and put 10% crit bonus, let, I want to do this for experimentation purposes and then go straight to our areas. 220%. Okay. It, it did go up by 10% because if it was going to go up by 10% of 200%, wait, no, yeah, 10% of 200% would actually be 20, wouldn't it? It would be, it would be 20% because yeah okay so it this this experiment still has not concluded because those numbers still equal the same <laughs> hi hello there future me here this already solves the question however it appears my stupid was showing and i somehow fail to recognize this and mess up the numbers in my head please ignore the stupid for the time being 
However, to make up for your lost brain cells, here is some Minecraft gameplay on the side to complement your viewing pleasure for the optimization to ensure two videos are watched in the time of one. Enjoy the complimentary feature for the next 30 seconds. Enjoy. Now, I saw before that some of these barrels kind of actually like, yeah, they, they kicked out like items. What is that pentagram looking thing? I mean, we're already, what did that do? Unholy strength, temporarily damage bonus from, uh, oh, okay, damage bonus. Oh, beautiful. Okay, yeah, I don't mind if I do. I'm just going to just strike your head first right into all these guys because I got a damage bonus right now and wait for it and it's gone <laughs> and it's gone just in time for the new wave of enemies to spawn on top of me ow ow <laughs> don't definitely cut to the point where like i'm never gonna take hits i did my big boring intellect is never gonna be able to let me get hit i don't know we got a increase to our attack speed before does that mean that from level one to level five did it increase five times given a 30 percent increase so if I get this again, is it gonna put it back down to level one to give me another 30% increase? I don't know, but I kinda wanna do the base block strength one because that seems really good. You know, actually, let's let's go ahead and actually take that look at that right now. So we don't know if it's gonna get leveled up to like level five or whatever, but the base, the block strength right now is 14. So remember that it is 14. We don't know if it's gonna like level up and give us more later on. We see it as a as a skill later on, but remember that it's 14 right now as the upgrade stands. So we can go ahead and experiment with that later on. So make sure to go ahead. I don't know what's gonna happen. So, I mean, I guess we're just going to experiment and find out and actually trying to circle around all these guys and surprise them. They move in a zigzag pattern, so a little bit stronger than I thought. Weapon proficiency coverage, 50% area, 50% range, crit bonus, 50% area, 30% damage main weapon. Ooh, ooh, I kind of want the damage in general because we seem to be lacking behind a little bit. Because I would honestly, if you had attack speed in there, I would go for it, but I want the main damage. The 30% increase of damage. Yeah, look at that. Now we're doing like 147. And you know, when it crits those red numbers, it's doing 470. So not only, okay, I just realized the crit chance, the crit chance is not per strike, it is per enemy. So when that ability hits all those enemies, that crit chance is rolling on every single enemy hit, not just like my strike at 20% to all the enemies in that vicinity. That is good to know because that basically is, assures you that you're almost always going to be able to get crits. So if you'd be able to get something that can go ahead and actually stack on top of your crits, that'd be a beautiful ability because it's already affecting like at a 20% chance, of, it's one fifth of the, the ability. It's one fifth of the characters. When you're hitting like seven to eight targets all at the same time, you're guaranteed to almost get one to two crits, like just always. Because just statistically speaking, I'm a dumbass and I'm getting hit. <laughs> statistically speaking, I don't, I'm running into the enemies. Ah, God, give me that. Give me whatever this is. <laughs> Strikes random enemies with lightning and stuns enemies. Surrounding the target hits enemies get inflicted with spark. And spark effect, spark deals 100 damage per stack applied to the enemy each tick. So it basically, it gets hit with damage and then it takes 100 damage DPS per second and then it takes a little bit less per tick down. Okay, very good, very nice to know. Fire needles that are random nearby enemies in quick succession. Multi-strike increases fire rate or astronomers or summons metal orbs that circle around you and damage enemies. Orbs are indestructible, permanent, and increase speed with your movement speed. Okay, well, I'm not really going for Musa Speed right now. I kind of want to like, I want the Lightning Strikes because not only does it stun enemies, but it does it does initial damage and it also probably, and it does DPS over time. So you know what? Boom, there we go. Fa ah, or that's right, I forgot we're surrounded. <laughs> that's right, <laughs> snap back to reality. Oh God, I picked something up and it's bringing all the XP to me. Beautiful. Crit bonus, I'm still not seeing a crit chance here. Uh, range, I can't, no, I'm going to do the base. The base, wait, look, it is level five. It is level five. So if I do this again, it should only be 18. It should only be 18 right now. So if I go ahead and just actually, let me hit escape here. Yeah, it is only 18. So it went from level one to level five, but it didn't like go up like one per or like go up by like four per. No, it didn't. It just one to five. I don't know what the levels mean. So again, feel free to put it down in the comments below. Let me know what the levels mean if you guys are actually familiar with what that is. But that is really good now because basically it means 100% block chance for 5 less damage, 18, 50%, 45 is a 20%. That's really good. 45, and that's a pretty good number to block a chance. Ooh, 10% damage in general, attack speed, and crit chance. Crit chance. Crit chance. Okay, it's at 20% right now. It's at 20%. We're going to find out. We're going to get the answer to this. It is at 22%. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, you know what? I don't know what you guys I don't know what you guys voted on down below because we couldn't do that the crit bonus because 20% of the crit bonus was 20% regardless. So it was gonna get 20%. It, it, it didn't matter with the numbers. But the crit chance, at least I think that's how the math works. The crit chance though, so that confirms that the 10% crit chance, so 10% of 20%, I think is 2% or like 1%. 
but it went to 22%. So essentially saying, yes, you are you, the percentages is multiplying by the percentage that you already have. Good. I knew it. I knew that I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I'm sorry. I take my roguelikes very seriously. You know what? And again, because it is so Diablo S plus, I, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I've called this out yet or not, but look at the health bar. The health bar there down here in the very, the, the health bar down there, the health bar down here is just like the Diablo 2. It's just like Diablo 2 and Diablo 1. It's the same health bar. I tell you what, right, right there. And the, the monopole is a little bit different. The monopole is a little bit different than I remember, but the health bar is right there. It's exactly the same. <laughs> So I kind of want, I kind of want the pickup range, but you know, I think the range that's not really going to help us overall. It's going to help us pick up more XP. Sure. But I think I just want more base defense in general, be able to take less damage when I do take hits. I'd rather have something that's actually going to have a more direct effect to my character. Survive until there's only 26 minutes left. Ca Cavern survivor. Oh God. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Quite literally everybody. Jesus. Um, I want to take out that, that bizarre, the brazier uh, real quick. Yeah. Ow, 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 oh my god. Oh, uh, make a hole for me, make a hole for me. Oh god. <laughs> Hit 20 enemies with a single attack. I'm glad I could get that achievement. Jesus. I want more damage. I want more attack speed, if anything. Uh, area, whatever. I want more damage. I just took a lot of hits. A lot. Of, I need to be better. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Find the pockets. Find the pockets. Find the pockets. I want to hit these guys. Yep. Make my pockets. Make my own pockets. Keep on circling around. I see some stuff over there on the ground. I kind of want to go pick it up. I, or is, is that stuff on the ground or are they just dead skill? Skeletons. I want to get the XP now. I wanted to get the gems. Okay. Get away from me. What are you? You red imps. You little red bastards. Stay away from me. I have no idea what you are, but I don't like you. I don't like change. I've already not adapted to the new change. There are already being so many skeletons. Let me get rid of these barrels. Barrels usually have stuff. Yeah, that gave me stuff. That gave me some coins. This would give me some stuff. This give me health. Beautiful. Give me this XP on the ground. Nice. Nice circle around. Oh, God. <laughs> they are fast. They are really fast. I want the attack speed, please. I want more attack speed. These imps seem to only close in when I'm looking away from them. If I start looking at them, they, they actually stay away and they try to avoid my attacks. I'm trying to take out these skeletons. My God, I need to take out this whole this whole grouping of them and then I need to get this XP. Running away from my problems is not going to solve the amounting hordes of skeletons that are coming after me. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. I need, I need to face my problems headlong with the sword. Oh God. Because only only the path of God is righteousness through... I, is this is this even holy? Does this even have a biblical background to it? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I just know that honestly these things need to die. And I'm sending them somewhere. I hope either to the eternal darkness or they're sending them straight to their maker. Uh, uh, minus... The, Minus 5% attack speed ability. No, thank you. But uh, area radius and base crit chance ability. Ooh, base crit chance. I think I think now that is an actual 10% increase to the chance to critical things. So I'm going to go ahead and take that because that... Wait, lightning strike connectivity. Base crit chance ability, radius ability, minus attack. I mean, yeah, I'll go ahead and upgrade the lightning strikes because those are pretty effective, especially when they're hitting those big groupings of them. It does do AOE damage. I need to circle back and get some of that XP. And God, there's just so many of them, though. There's so many of them, though. But I'm an expert roguelike player, and I'm not going to get that. I'm not going to get that gap. I, I looked at that gap, and I'm like, that's not going to happen. That was not going to happen. You know, I, I thought these skeletons were one hit. They are not one hit anymore. They are definitely a two. -y. Oh, God. What are you? What are you? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh, he summons enemies, too. Yeah, he, 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 he can run on top of me. My God. Okay. Um... <laughs> I kind of want the base regeneration. Give me, give me more base regeneration. I want health back faster, please. I need, I need, what do I need? I need a juke up. Ah, ah, no, the imps. Click <laughs> the total 300 gold. My God. <laughs> Game over. Haunted caverns. My God. Well, honestly, that is fantastic. Let's take a look at the stats and get my cursor out of the way. Damage 211,837. DPS of 909. The lightning strike was 263. And then maximum damage per second over duration of 30 seconds was 264. Not bad. Gold collector survival time. Completed quest. Quest stone. Cavern survivor. Wide sweep. Sword play. Mastery. Obulus. Obulus. The imp chieftain. <laughs> That's what they used to call me back in college. Haunted caverns. Okay, fantastic. Return to camp. What do we have back here? That's not over just yet. What do we have here? So do we have... Oh, hello. So we have ourselves a brand new character too. The archer. So, of course, they attack from a distance, fires three arrows and a fan in the direction aimed. Well, that honestly, I'm excited. This is literally going to be my new obsession for quite a while. Thank you, Steam Summer Sale. Yes, I also purchased like four other games. But hey, if you guys want to see more content like this, and feel free to like the video, comment down below, and all that fun stuff. 
because I will be doing more videos on this and let me know if you guys want to see more videos on this because I'm having lots of fun. It really tickles me really fancy. But while you guys are waiting for that to come out, feel free to check out this other video where it was my very first time ever playing Dota. Thank you, and I'll make sure to see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and bye bye